Ahoy everybody, welcome back to the Blackbird Podcast. I am currently sitting by a pool in Prague City. Beautiful Prague. Prague is fucking roasting. Since we got here, it's been roasting. And that's cool, I don't mind that, I'm not complaining. I'm simply describing the facts. This feels weird. I'm actually sitting by the pool. It's not like something in a movie. or This is not spectacular or fantastic. This is a kiddie fucking pool. (laughs) Way back from Prague City Centre. We were on a boat ride today. It was fantastic. And uh, I'm I'm experimenting. I'm experimenting with... I took some video on the boat ride of the... Just some lovely scenes of Prague City. So I'm going to try to have that on the YouTube channel. And then I'll loop... Or not loop, but I'll fucking add this f- vocal over that visual, and hopefully it'll it'll work out as this week's podcast. I say this week. I don't know what day I have. I, I'm not, I know I'm late, but so if, if there's surrounding sound, that's what it is. Bunch of kids and a lot of water splashing. It's quieting down a bit now, but uh, if I don't do this now, I won't do it at all. And there's a little one over there now crying like Tarzan. This is typical. The minute I start to record and think people start talking to me. And kids start screaming. Little fuckers. But yeah, you'd burst into flames here with the heat. And I can't wear sunglasses because if I put sunglasses on, I'm in that Elvis phase. You know, Elvis just before he died. You just blow it. You blow it up. I put the glasses on. They're sitting on my cheeks. So that's where I am with that. So you go without. And your eyes are melting. But Prague is fucking beautiful. Beautiful. I haven't got a word of check. I started uh, one of those. What is it? Duolingo? Duolingo. And uh, you need more than Duolingo, folks. Duolingo is kind of. It's good as part of something. But it's, it can't be the sole, sole thing. It just won't work. So here we are. So what's been happening with your crackers? Ahoy, ahoy, ahoy from Praha. That's the, that's the extent of my bad check now. So I'll, I'll stop it with that shit. I'm just waiting for someone to come back here now and sit down with all the stuff so I can fuck off and have a sneaky siggy behind the tree. Uh, it sounds weird when you say it, but it just popped into my head. I thought it'd be funny. You know, a fucking a man in the trees <laughs> with a phone in his hand sweating mad in a kiddie pool is not really what I had in mind when I said I do the Blackboard podcast but here we are you gotta do what you gotta do Sabi Tata are you drinking So yeah, I mean, my bad editing will definitely be worse this time around because just I don't see how this is getting edited. So if it works, great. If not, I'm not gonna fucking post it till next week when I get back to the studio and do it properly. Well, as as near to properly as I can get to anyway. So yeah, Prague is fucking beautiful. I'm at a loss for words. Because I'm mainly sweating. Fuck. Hang on. So here we are. I did just skip over here out of the way. Got a nice seat for myself. So anyway, how y'all doing, folks? I am not doing too bad. I'm having a good old time sweating like crazy. Inflated like crazy. My knees are going to pop. I can feel my bones. I had, to, I had to look into that. To do, I think it's because Prague is, is seawise, it's higher up than uh, than we are in Cork in Ireland. It's way higher, and then you have the heat, which is intense. But it's, we've been coming here now once a year, maybe once a year for some time now. Definitely before Junior was born, and he's eleven this year. And every time we come here, you just find something new to do. It's an unbelievable place. And there's a, there's this cool park, actually, in Praha 4. And it's kind of like a park. But they've got this huge man-made 
lake I suppose in the middle of it with these uh, boardwalks on either side with lifeguards for jumping in and all that jazz they have it divided up then for um, for kids to swim in with the mammies and the daddies so it's actually cool it's actually very fucking cold the water so it's nice when you go in there and the temperature's crazy so yeah Prague is a beautiful city people are they're lovely but I, I usually prefer when when Hansa is around that's Junior's granddad Lucy's dad the natives just know what the fuck is at they know where to go for the good food they know where to go for all the good stuff so uh, that's that's a bonus because I remember we came over here me and some buddies um, about 12 years ago maybe and it was just the boys. My God, it was like a fucking bean in the band. We were just drunk for two weeks. Ate fuck all because we couldn't speak the lingo. And you go into all these places off the beaten track. <laughs> it was not a good idea. I think we ended up finding a McDonald's somewhere in week two. <laughs> Starved. Some salty soups and shit. But since then, it's been super... So what crazy crackers? I heard someone screaming there and I'm wondering is my fucker. So yeah, ordinarily I'm not really I'm not a fan of cities in general. Too many fucking people. Uh way too many people. But Prague is is one of those ones you make an exception for. You can just do so many things. Like, we went about 40 minutes outside of town, outside of the city. Uh, when was it? Saturday? Friday? Saturday, I think. Down to the weekend house. Because everyone here usually has like a, an apartment in town that, where they are working. And then at the weekend they, or on holidays, they'll fuck off to the, the weekend house. It's just like a two-story college or something like that. Um, nice and quaint. And it's in the country, so you to go out there and have drinks, light up some outdoor fires, get out the guitars, have a good old time. So we did that. Did that on Saturday and it was great. Got a nice bottle of Tullamore Dew with some honey in it, some beers, some, uh, cooked some food in the fire. It was cool. Very nice. And then back into the city on a Sunday evening. And then uh, mainly swimming for the week and getting fat and uh, <laughs> bloated and drinking beer. More beer than I was having beer for breakfast for Christ's sake, which is cool. Don't have to drive anywhere. The buses, all of this jazz is all super. Or the metro, super as well. As long as you're, you know, not twisted. You're good. You're good to go. You can enjoy a lot. And the buildings here are fantastic. The architecture is unbelievable. There's a blend of old and new, and when I say old, the castle in Prague is stunning. Real gothic twist wall of it. And you've all the usual stuff that you see on Instagram and all of that jazz. But then, uh, like I said, when you're with the natives, you get to go to all these other places, all these other districts and stuff. And it's beautiful. It really is cool. You'd be thinking, fuck it, yeah, I could live here. But nah, not a fucking hope. <laughs> I'd be like the Michelin man going around. My, I can't even see my ankles. No, I'm not. I'm not overweight or anything. But Jesus Christ, I look, I look kind of flat, fat. Here, my ankles are fucking roundy. But uh, I think you you want. You should wear two weeks. You probably want three weeks because it took me five days just to be able to. Even now though my feet are a bit fucked because you're walking on cobblestones everywhere when you are walking and you have to walk. I mean there's some cool cool things when you're walking through the city. We came upon this uh I don't know what we were looking at, some fucking light show or some shit. But on the way out of the building then you see this this motorcycle and it's made of chains, bolts and all this kind of bits of metal scrap. 
and it's put together like a sculpture and it was really fucking cool so we ended up going in there and when we got in there then you have uh you've all these transformers like they're they're about 10 feet tall more even and then upstairs you get to see uh more cars jeeps uh, other characters from cartoons, a bunch of minions, and then there was Batman and Superman. That's pretty fucking cool. I'd say they're spanking expensive. I mean, you wouldn't be getting one for the for the lawn or anything. Like these things are massive. So I must say now I'm getting a few dodgy looks there around from some of the parents because well, I have the phone in my hand and I'm just speaking into the end of it, hoping that this this comes out okay. But it's a fun experiment. I've been too busy enjoying myself. Well, there's been a dead meltdown with the kids, but that's to be expected. This fucking heat, and you're walking around all the time. You're bound to get a bit cuntish. But we got over it. Just had another beer and just fucking kick on, enjoy yourself. And, uh. Yeah, it's cool. Except for that fucking sting in the face I got this morning off a wasp, fucker. Boy, soldier on, pulled on through, and here I am now, at the side of a pool, having a good old time. So hopefully you'll watch that video I I made of the um, boat trip down the river. I mean, it's just something to look at. It's beautiful, as you would see if you are indeed looking at it. I did think to do some like, well this is this and this is that, but I'd only fucking butcher the names. And uh, no, nah, it's just nice, just nice to look at it, it's a beautiful place. Even with the kids, I mean, you still get to enjoy things, you know. You'd be thinking like at the start, oh fuck it, you can't be going on a plane. I, no, I'm not a big fucking fan of flying in the first place. And especially airports. I get all freaked out in airports. It's like going into a fucking movie of World War or something. They're so fortified with X, Y and Z and all this digital fucking bullshit they're trying to fucking advertise. I don't like it. You're a fucking, basically, you're, you're a taxi office. You know what I mean? A bit of perspective. So stop. Stop being cunts. They kind of, you know, they can take that holiday buzz off you very quickly if you let them. But you take off your shoes shit, for fuck's sake. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. We've been here now a week and we're having a great old time. Surprisingly so. Even I'm having a good time. <laughs> I managed to switch off for a whole bunch of days. But now I'm getting a little twitchy. <laughs> he was thinking, fuck. I should probably do a podcast. And, uh, you know, you'd be there like, you're on holiday. I am on holiday, but we've been up early, we've been out early, we've been everywhere. And on that boat trip to finish off, and here we are now, there down there somewhere, having a great time in the water. It's shallow enough, so it's not really. I'm slow enough to get in the water. Tomorrow we'll probably go to the big pool and I'll be in there like a fucking salmon. <laughs> But, uh, so they're down there now having a good time. And I'm sitting here having a good time. Experimenting. So, what else can you do in prayer? You can do so much. It depends on your circumstances, you know. If you're fucking young in party mood, there's loads for that shit. If you're fucking a couple, there's loads for that shit. If you're a fucking young family or middle of the road family or old family, there's loads for that shit too. Just depends on what what your idea of a fun time is. Ours is just fucking hanging out, wrecking each other's fucking head. By six o'clock, people are getting heads bit clean off. But uh, but you know, fuck it. You got to be real as well. I have no problem letting them know when I'm happy. Equally, no problem letting them know when I'm cunt mood. Usually, it's when I'm hungry, or tired, or melting. But the food here is delish. It's like. You'd be hearing people back home thinking we live in a fucking super country. We do not. We do not. I'm not saying this place is fucking super super, but uh, you'd be looking around thinking, 
and you know it's shit going on here for 50 years and how come we don't have this set up at home if we're so fucking super duper so yeah it gives you food for thought food for thought and if I eat any more fucking hot dogs I'm gonna start barking so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna have this go on and on I've got a figure out how to put all this shit together now <laughs> so thanks for bearing with me and listening to my little sun-soaked rant in beautiful Prague and I do hope you watch the video it's it's pretty I'm gonna put two videos up I'll put one without me talking <laughs> and I'll try to put one up with just music because there's one there to put a half an hour long and then there's just whatever I can just blab on about now but it's coming to an end because I need a cigarette and that means I have to go roll one and go back into the bushes and smoke my cigarette and preferably leave my phone here this time because it does you do feel a bit you know <laughs> paranoid so we will see you soon folks I look forward to being back in my studio and it's another good thing actually when you get away and you get bored because you do get bored even when you're spoilt with all the beautiful architecture, all the lovely food, all the little day trips, all the swimming and shit. You do, you find when the kids go down early because they're wrecked, if you're lucky, that you're, you've, you've too much fucking time and you're like, I should have brought a book. But then if you brought a book, you'd probably go to sleep reading the fucking thing. So, I'm getting twitchy. What is it now? Day six? Yeah, day six and I'm twitchy. So I think that's a good run. But, uh, so I don't know, I'll probably, I'll probably do something else tomorrow if I can make th this work tonight. While they're snoring their brains out. So anyway, I shall sign off now. Ahoy. <laughs> Goodbye now. Talk to y'all soon. Bye now. <laughs>